Right, let's have a good look at you. Do you mind just dropping your pot for me? I know you're sad that Christmas is over. You are looking quite depressed at the moment. Has the brown spot changed shape or texture in the last 24 days? Oh dear. Not drinking enough water. Right, this is nothing to be alarmed about, but I think the main issue is that you're suffering from a soggy bottom. Maybe you could show your face at one of the Easter parties. No? Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a video on how to rescue your plants that are dying, I guess is the title, until I think of a better one. Um, hopefully I will have thought of something better by the time this video goes up this evening. But basically I have got, as you will have seen by that little intro clip, a lot of plants that are looking a bit worse for wear, shall we say. So I've been doing a little bit of research and having a look online to see exactly what's wrong with them. And I'm gonna go through each one with you and tell you what is wrong with it and how I'm gonna hopefully bring it back to life. One of the things that I think I have been guilty of is actually just overwatering my plants. So um, I have got a couple of plants in the kitchen and I will just put them under the tap and fill up the container that they're in. And I think I was drowning the roots, to be honest with you. So I have invested in this new watering can. So I got this off Amazon. It's by a brand called Elho Beautiful Living. It comes with a three year warranty, which I don't know why you'd need a warranty for a watering can, but hey ho, um, I thought that was pretty good. And it's made out of just this simple molded plastic. It was only 7 99 and I was able to get it on Amazon Prime. So it came the next day and this honestly is fantastic for what I need it for because you know I've got the hanging ones where I can just go around and reach up to them and because of the spout being long and thin let me just show you with the pot here it doesn't let me drown them because just a little bit there we go do you see that just a little bit spouts out and you can get it and aim it right into the center so um, if you have got any hanging um, plants, it's not going to go dribbling everywhere. So I'm going to link that below for you so you can get your hands on one. They also do this in all sorts of different colours too. So yeah, uh, so that's a recent purchase. I've also bought um, a few more plant pots. So I'm going to switch up all the plant pots that everything's in. And I've just made... I know you guys like a bit of upcycling and a little DIY. So I've just made myself some plant pots. And these are just out of old uh, protein powder containers. So I just cut them in half and drilled some holes into the bases of these because some of my plants have outgrown their pots a little bit and I just went to look outside on the roof terrace to try and uh, retrieve some. And our roof terrace is in a right old state at the minute. I won't bore you with that now, but um, there will be a roof terrace update coming for you very soon because there's been progress on the wall. So I think, uh, yeah, that needs to be in a separate video. <laughs> right, so these are the ones from the kitchen that I was telling you about. So what I was doing is just whacking that under the tap and switching the tap on. And I think I must have just drowned them because they're going brown on the leaves. It's not a good sign. And I think when we have a look inside here, yeah, I don't think those roots are looking too healthy. I mean, they are white still, which I think is a good sign, but they, they look like they're getting a bit squished in there to me. So I think we need to repot both of these. I bought this vermiculite in Poundland, which supposedly aids water retention. But I thought if I put a bit of that in the base of the pot, it will hopefully help the drainage on the roots a little bit as well. I'm gonna pop that in first. I picked up this houseplant potting mix. I got this one off Amazon. I think this was about £9 for the bag. So it's a little bit pricey, but I'm hoping that it's going to do the trick. This one has added perlite for optimum airflow and drainage and contains water retaining ceramis. Sorry, I'm reading this upside down. And yeah, for healthy growth and greener leaves. That's what we're after. I'm going to go in first with a bit of this. This is going to be messy, but I have put some... Uh, cloths down today because I know that after well pretty much after every single video I make the carpet is covered in um, awful mess afterwards so let's add a bit of this one for luck gonna mix that in now I know a lot of you that watch my channel are plant lovers and 
have a lot more expertise on this than me. So I would love it if you've got any tips or you see me doing something that you think isn't quite right, feel free to tell me in the comments because I'm learning here. But um, this now means that this has got a bit more space under the roots. So I'm hoping that that's gonna help it. Let's just go around the... Oh no, I've already got soil all in my coffee. Oh, it's only a tiny bit. So, of course, it would be better to be doing this out on the roof terrace, which uh, maybe in the summer I'll do some gardening videos out there. But, as I say, it is in a little bit of a state at the minute. And now I'm just going to pull off any dead leaves. I think actually I might cut them. I don't know if they're going to come very easily. So we've actually had these uh, peace lilies since we moved into this property, which was in 2009. So I think we've done pretty well to keep them alive this long. I mean, I know these are supposedly one of the easiest house plants uh, to keep alive. So if you are sort of new to plants and you want a nice and easy to care for one, and even if you're as bad as me with things like overwatering, they are pretty hardy. They don't need an awful lot of daylight either, so you don't have to um, have a really bright place for them. And they will, I mean, they, they probably need a bit of time, but they will eventually um, have a lovely white flower that kind of looks like a leaf, but it is a flower. And that, um, that looks really, really nice. And they will grow, but um, I think you just need to look after them a bit better than I have been. There we go, that's a lot better. Get rid of all these dead leaves, because I think when you leave these on, a lot of the plant's energy is still maybe going to those, which isn't going to do it any favours. Now, I'm not sure what to do with these ones, where it's just the tip of the leaf that's gone brown. I think rather than cut them all off, because I'm hoping there will be any plant left <laughs> if I do that, I'm going to leave those ones. But let me know in the comments if those ones should come off as well and what you think. It's looking a little bit sparse now, but at least I know that it's got a bit more room in its roots for them to spread out a little bit and hopefully this soil is going to do it some good. And I'll let you know how these go in a few months time. I'll do a plant tour for you all so you can see if any of this has made a difference. It'd be so tempting to go down to Columbia Road and buy some huge ones, <laughs> swap them out, but I won't, I'll be honest. Do you remember these hanging ones that I got from Lidl? Well, look at the state of this one. And this one, I am pretty sure, is down to lack of watering. I've got no other excuse for this one. I think I think because it was hanging up and it was in the office, which I haven't been using as much recently. I've been tending to work here at this table because I've got all the daylight from the living room here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just barren. So what I think I'm gonna do, hmm, let's just get rid of all this dead stuff just cut it away and then I think this probably just needs a little bit more soil and drainage as well I'm just gonna snip away at all this a tiny bit of life <laughs> look at the state of it it's like one one leaf is left basically but you never know I'm gonna be hopeful. And if you've got any tips for me, if you've brought a fern back to life, please let me know in the comments if there's anything else I can do to rescue this one. See, that bit's got some life on it, so I'm not gonna cut that one off. Because that's still got some green, but all of these, I think we've had it. Pull all the dead leaves off. <laughs> so it is literally. Get those ones off as well. Okay, so that's what we are left with. Now, shall we just put, should we put this in a bigger pot? I think, yeah, let's do that. And if I, and I'm gonna put these all on this table in the office, all on the same table, just to get them back to health, and so I can just wash them all at once, rather than having them dotted all around the house, and having to go around with this bad boy. I'm gonna just be able to go into there and give them all a drink at the same time, and hopefully give them a couple of months. They'll all look amazing, I'll be able to do another video for you. 
that's the plan. I actually think, on a side note, that these look all right. I don't know if um, I'd mind just keeping them in these. They look pretty cool. I've seen plenty of white plant pots around in the shops that are literally just white plastic like this. So yeah, worth a go if you are on the protein shakes, which reminds me, I need to get back to the gym. I'm just mixing up the potting mix. There we go. So I think that's got a little bit more room to grow now and hopefully it will spread its roots and get big. And this spider plant as well. It's not looking too bad, but I think it has been neglected a bit because of it being in this hanging container. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing with this one. I'm just gonna get rid of all the dead leaves and I'm gonna swap it into one of my new bigger containers. And I think these will be great for some cactuses or some succulents that don't need such regular watering. So I will be making use of those. Uh, now look at these roots. See that to me means that it is definitely getting a bit too big for this pot because those roots have all congealed together. They've got no room to go. They look quite healthy still, but definitely need a bigger container for these. I'm gonna trim this down a little bit, I think, so it can go into to this. And before it goes into its new pot, I'm just going to tip it upside down and pull away any of the dead leaves. So again, the spider plant is a very easy one to look after. This isn't looking too bad considering that I have shamefully neglected this one as well. So a great one for any of you guys watching that are just introducing some plants into your home. And I'm trying to get these leaves right down at the roots so that they're not gonna be wasting any of the plant's energy by potentially taking any of the water or just rotting. So there we go, looks better already. Add a bit of the potting mix around the sides again. Notice that I'm doing this on a tray in an attempt to keep things tidy, but there's still soil going absolutely everywhere. So I'm glad that I put that cloth down. Now this one's not doing too bad, but I've noticed that some of the leaves have got brown spots on them and I think this is another one. It's feeling very soggy in here. Oh dear, look at these roots. Right, so this is getting a bit uh, swamped in there as well, isn't it? So these roots are now growing back upwards by the looks of things, which I don't think can be a very good thing, and it's feeling very soggy around here. So I think that this one definitely needs a bigger pot too. Hopefully it'll be a bit more comfy in there. And do you like the yellow tray that it's sitting on? I did drill holes in these, by the way. Now, this one is a big one, so hopefully you can see it all right. But um, as you can see on this rubber plant, the pot is tiny and the roots are springing out all over the shop. I picked up this little tub from Poundland and I'm just gonna drill some holes in the base of it for some, for some drainage. I wanted it um, to be this size, picked up this one because I wanted it to stay in the metal bucket when um, we've done this, because I like the metal bucket that it was in. And now that I've done that, I am just going over all of the leaves with a bit of an old 
It might be my old boxer shorts. I think it's a t-shirt. And I am just dusting them off because, look at the dust on them. They um, do collect the dust because obviously they're so big. And the dust on them can stop the sunlight getting to them. So it's not good for their photosynthesis. And they're quite robust leaves, so you can give them quite a good polish and they're going to come up really nice and shiny as well. Oh, the dust's going in my coffee now. I'll still drink it though. This one is doing all right though, and the reason I know that is because if you look in here, this, is a sign of a new uh, leaf or flower growing, so you know that it's doing all right if it's got one of those. Right, I'm going to finish up with a question for you because I know that you all love your plants and you're a lot more knowledgeable about them than me, so I hope you can help me out with this one. What I would like to know is what this plant is called, and um, yeah, I'm gonna put this one into a bigger pot as well because as you can see, the pot that it's in is tiny, I mean, that is a joke, isn't it? How has this stayed alive when that is the size of the uh, the base of it? I mean, that's insane. Is it a sort of money tree? Um, I'm curious to know. And also, I'm gonna sort out this poinsettia, but let me know um, what to do with this throughout the year. Should I just keep it in my home? Will it continue growing? Any um, requirements for it? Does this need to go outside? I will Google all this as well, but I just thought, as you guys are so knowledgeable on the plant situation, um, it'd be fun for you to let me know what your thoughts are as well. So, oh, it's like a jungle in here. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed and you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh dear. Good job I put the sheet there. <laughs> right, better get this lot tidy.